Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of GATE 2024 Mathematics Code MA. This is a question from Topology and Functional Analysis. First we did the question. Consider the topology on Z with basis S A B such that A B belongs to Z and A not equal to 0 where S A B equal to A N plus B such that N belongs to Z. Consider the following mm -hmm. statements. Statement 1 says that S A B is both open and closed for each A B belongs to Z with A not equal to 0. Option uh, statement 2 says that the only connected set containing each belongs to Z is singleton. Now which of the following is correct? So first see that about the topology on Z it says that this type of sets S A B such that A B belongs to Z this will uh, with a not equal to 0 this will form a basis for the topology on z and s a b is a subset of z defined by a n plus b such that n belongs to z so simply just consider that what is our s 1 0 this a is not 0 simply consider S10. S10 is simply one into n plus zero where n varies over z. So this is nothing but the whole set of integers z. Similarly, if we consider that what is our S 1 1 exactly in similar manner you will get z. Now consider what is our s 2 1. s 2 1 is simply 2 n plus 1 such that n varies over z. So this is the set of all odd integers. So and if we consider what is our s20, we will get the set of all such elements 2n where n varies over z that is the set of all even integers. So union of these two will give the whole z. Exactly in similar manner if we consider s30, s31 and s32, so we will get the whole set z and also they are disjoint. Similarly, if we take m any integer, then our s m1 union s m2 dot dot up to s m comma m minus 1 will be equal to z. So clearly, take an arbitrary a b belongs uh, also as this forms a basis a c b the collection if we take this as script b so as script b is a basis so all s a b are open sets clearly now we will show that all such s a b are closed sets so then it will be proved that all such members of script b will be open as well as closed both open sets so now take one arbitrary a and b belongs to z and consider class b as class B is the remainder when A is divided by B. That means B equal to A K plus plus B where 0 less than equal to B less than equal, uh, 0 less than equal to B uh, class B less than A. So when we divide this uh, B by A so uh, we will get this k and the remainder we will take at as class b. So now now simply we get this s a b is equal to s a plus b and 
just we denote as this class B, not this is exactly class B, we can simply consider uh, as class B equal to R. So we are just denoting this by B bar. So this is simply will be the complement of this set that is Z minus this S A1 union S A2 union up to S A B minus 1 uh, sorry B minus 1 bar union S A comma B plus 1 bar union dot dot up to S A comma A minus 1 just simply just verify these things this will give S A B so clearly as all such S A B's are open sets so there are finitely many union here and so this is open so the complement of this is closed so we have we get from here that S A B is closed and also as S A B's are members of basis they are open so all such A B as we have taken arbitrary A B so all such S A B's are closed sets in Z. Okay, now consider this S11 that is actually Z intersection S21 intersection dot dot check that this will give simply singleton 1 as clearly 1 belongs to all such S uh, all such S M1 and also if we take any k which is not equal to 1 we can show that k does not belong to this intersection because clearly k does not belong to s k1 so k does not belong to this intersection so only one will be in this intersection and no other element other than one is in this intersection so this intersection contains only the singleton set one and also both of these sets are uh, closed so this is uh, intersection of arbitrary closed set so this will be closed all these s a b's are open as well as closed so this is intersection of arbitrary closed sets so this singleton one is closed so similarly you can show that singleton two singleton three all uh, singleton sets are closed so what we get here uh, similarly we get this every singleton set is closed in Z with respect to this topology. Now using this we also can conclude that every finite set every finite set is closed in Z as every finite set can be expressed as the finite union of singleton set that is closed set. So now we show that now we show that this Z is actually totally disconnected. This is our claim. We now prove this that Z is totally disconnected here. The definition of totally disconnected is that if we take two arbitrary element x y belongs to z with x not equal to y then we have to find u and v both are open sets sorry both are uh, both are closed open sets we have to find u v both are closed open sets both are close open such that x belongs to u y belongs to v and with this x equal to u union v with u intersection v equal to phi so this is the definition of totally disconnected we say that x is totally disconnected if this condition holds so 
Now we have taken arbitrary x y belongs to j to it with, with, with x not equal to y. Now consider the set B1 equal to uh, complement of the singleton set y. So clearly this as this singleton y is closed, so this z minus singleton y is open. So this B1 is open and also x belongs to here. So as this S collection of all S A B script B is a basis uh, for Z, so there must exist one one such S A B. There exists one such S A B belongs to script B such that we have this X belongs to uh, S A B by the definition of basis. Uh, this subset of this B one. This subset of this z minus singleton y. Now we take here this u equal to s a b and simply v equal to complement of this s a b. So clearly both u and v are closed open. We already proved all such s a b's are closed open. So u and v are uh, both are closed open. Also here x belongs to u and by the construction of this u y does not belong to u so so y belongs to v and also by construction of u and v we must have this z equal to u union v and also u intersection v equal to phi. So we now we have proof now that z is totally disconnected and one if and only result of this totally disconnected set is that in a totally disconnected space in a totally disconnected space in a totally disconnected space the connected sets are only singleton so the same uh, uh, sentence that the components are the components are only the singleton sets so now look at the options look at the option here See which of the following is correct. So uh, option uh, uh, consider the following statement. Statement one says that S A B is both open and closed for each A B belongs to J to A not equal to zero. We have proved that one is true. We have proved that one is true. And now look at uh, statement two. The only connected set containing H belongs to J is singleton X. We also proved that as J is totally disconnected. The uh, only connected set is singleton X. So uh, statement two is also true. So now look at the options. Which one of the following is correct? Both one and two are true. So this is the correct option. Option B says that one is true, two is false. This is not the correct option. Option C says that one is false, two is true. This is not the correct option. Option D says that both one and two are false. So this is also not the correct option. The only correct option is both 1 and 2 are true, option A. This is the solution of this problem. Thanks for watching.